Hello everyone, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create this cool fake shadow or synthetic shadow or basically just a shadow effect. And I'm going to show you how to do it in about 90 seconds. Like you're kind of looking through the blinds at this lady. So here we go. That's kind of creepy. Whatever. That's how I roll. Okay, so first step, add in your image like I've done here. The next step is you want to go over to your left side here and you want to grab your rectangle tool. We're going to go ahead and create some rectangles. About, and make sure they're a little wider than the image itself and these are going to be basically like the size of the shadows so i'm going to go up here to the top now i've made my rectangle and i'm going to change the fill from not from white to black and i'm just going to get rid of the stroke just clicking on this no stroke here so there we go we've got some well we've got our first shadow so to speak i'm now going to go back to the move tool and i'm going to hold down the alt or the option key and when i do that you're going to see double arrows pop up and I'm just going to pull down. And what this is doing is basically just making copies of it. So I'm just pulling them down, straight down. And I'm going to go ahead and just make four copies for the hell of it. Again, you guys can adjust the sizes and the number as you see fit. Now, we've got these four copies. I'm now going to go over to my Layers panel. I'm going to hold down the Shift key. And I'm going to make sure that I've selected all four of these rectangles. And I'm going to go up here to the top. And you're going to see this here. It's called Distribute Vertically. What we want to do is we want to make sure that they're evenly spaced apart. So there we go. We've evenly spaced them apart. And now I'm going to go ahead and click off of that. So there we go. We've gone ahead and done that. Now I'm going to click out. And here's another thing you can do. Go over here to the right side. Select all the rectangles again. And making sure you're just outside of the one of the written text here. Right click. And we're going to go to the bottom here. And we're going to merge the shapes. So they're all together now. Awesome. Cool. Now let's get cracking. The next step here is I'm going to go ahead and click and hold down the command or the control key. And when you do that, you click, you'll see here, if you zoom in, you'll see these little white and black marching ants. What we've done is we've made a selection of just the rectangles. Nothing else is selected on this layer. Now I'm going to turn this layer off, believe it or not. I'm going to unclick it. So I've turned the eyeball off. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go ahead now and create a brightness and contrast layer. But before I do it, do keep in mind that if you look at the image, you'll see that there's some white and black uh, marching ants there. So that's what we're working the brightness and contrast on. Click on that and nothing happens out of the box. Watch this. Drop the brightness like I've done here and go ahead and increase the contrast. Set those up as you see fit. And now you can see kind of where this is going. We've gone ahead and we've sort of made this... Um, uh, shadowy type effect. It's not correct yet. What you need to do now is making sure you're selected here on the brightness contrast layer. Click on this little mask button here. It looks like a camera. And now take the feather way up. So I'm going to go ahead and just really increase it. I'm going to increase it to about 100 and something to make it look like it's really, really blurry. Okay, so we've increased the feather. Now we've got a realistic shadow. The last thing you can do is you can just hover over here, making sure you get your move tool selected. And you can either make these bigger or smaller depending on what you want. I'm going to make them a little bigger and then I'm going to go ahead and kind of tilt them. And now look, so I'm just making sure that it's gone through something like that and presto, let go, boom. We've gone ahead and we've added in a very cool shadow effect. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.